Hi everyone, it's Miss Kirsten. Welcome back to another pajama story time. So for tonight, I thought we could read The Night the Moon Went Missing. It's one of our newer books here at the library. It's written by Brendan Kearney and it's published by DK Publishers. We do not own the rights to this book, but I hope you guys enjoy it. At night, moon shines proudly between constellations of stars. And every morning, sun rises and beams so brightly that no one notices moon anymore. There's moon and there's sun. What a show off, moon huffed as she watched everyone laughing and playing in the sunshine. When night came around again, everyone turned, off, turned their lights off and went to sleep. Nobody cares about me, Moon cried, but someone did care. It's just that Moon didn't see her. Lucy could see Moon from her bedroom window. It'll be all right, Moon. I'll see you tomorrow night, she yawned as she jumped into bed. But the following night, Moon was gone, and the night after that. After a few nights, Lucy started to worry. She read the newspapers in horror. It says, wave goodbye to your super board. Moon landing canceled. Rabbits overrun island. Winters will get colder and colder because there's no moon. You see all the headlines. Soon, panic swept across the world. People looked everywhere for her. Where could she be, Lucy thought. The newspaper offered a special reward for whoever found Moon. Astronomers used huge telescope, telescopes to scan the farthest corners of space. Fearless divers searched the deepest, darkest par parts of the ocean. Explorers even scaled the highest mountains and trekked through the wildest jungles. But Moon was nowhere to be found. Moon had found the perfect hiding place. She felt sad and more alone than she had ever felt before. Lucy was feeling lonely too. Her bedroom was so dark without Moon. She must be so scared on her own, Lucy thought as she sat awake in bed. Where could she be? Lucy looked under her bed, searched the attic, and even checked the garden shed but she found no sign of Moon. Then she remembered her own favorite hiding spot, the place she would go to if she was feeling sad or lonely. Lucy rushed to the end of the yard and scrambled down some steps into a quiet hidden cove. She noticed a dim light and was overjoyed to find Moon sitting beside a small pool of water. I found you, Lucy cheered. But she could see that Moon wasn't very happy. What's wrong, Lucy asked softly. Nobody cares about me, wept Moon. During the day, everyone is too busy to see me, and at night, when it is my time to shine, people go inside and ignore me. <clears throat> Lucy had an idea. She ran back to the house and returned a few minutes later. Look at this, Lucy smiled as she opened the newspaper and began to read aloud. Millions search for Moon. We miss you, Moon. Please come home. Moon wiped her eyes and smiled at Lucy. I can't believe it, she beamed. You do care about me. That's right, Lucy replied. We have all missed you very much. The world is a much darker and scarier place without you. Suddenly, Moon didn't feel so lonely. Thank you, Lucy, Moon smiled. She began to rise above the ocean and floated through the clouds, back to her space between the constellations. <clears throat> By the morning, Lucy was famous. She was interviewed on TV and in the newspaper, and the world celebrated the return of Moon. And a few days later, she was giving given a very special reward.
a vacation to visit her dear friend Moon in space. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed the night the moon went missing, and I hope you have a great rest of your night and a great rest of your week, and I'll see you guys back here next week. Bye!